What's up, Cosplay fam? It's your guy, DJ Croft. I'm here with the video on how I made my White Ranger armor for my Power Ranger cosplay. All right? So before I get started, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And please hit that subscribe button and follow for more content and feature. Um, I would really appreciate that. Um, so first of all, this is the White Ranger armor, okay? I made this from scratch, and I'm gonna show you how I basically did it. It's super easy. So, I have my laptop pulled up here, because I'm gonna show you guys picture demonstrations uh, here while I explain everything. So, the materials you're gonna need for this, that I basically use for this, is, the, is I basically need a primer, um, to basically prime it, then you need two types of paint. You need black paint and a, and a gold paint, all right? They both need to be glossy. They cannot be matte because um, matte finish is usually, you know, really ugly when it dries. So you definitely wanna make sure you get glossy black and gold paint, all right? And then I had to use super glue. Now you're gonna need tons of this. So buying two of these would probably be useful. Um, then your cutting materials, scissors and an exacto blade. Exacto blade is really important for this. And then you need your drawing mechanism. Um, this, is a, this is I use a sharpie to basically draw the shapes out uh, that go on the armor. And then most importantly, a paintbrush because if you don't have a paintbrush you're gonna pile the paint. And then you need a ruler, all right? This, a ruler is extremely important um, in making this costume here, making this armor, because you need to get your you need to get your correct measurements for your torso um, and for other pieces on the costume as well. So I can have you guys just look at it. That's what it looks like front and back. And you're gonna need three different types of foam sheets. All right, first, you're going to need thick EVA foam. As you can see, really thick EVA foam. You're gonna need huge, huge sheets of these, okay? You can't, I would not recommend you to be cutting these pieces, these large pieces out on a small piece of foam sheet. I have a humongous roll of foam sheet, so I was able to cut out my pieces properly. So what I recommend you to do is get a huge roller foam sheet, all right? So you can have enough to cut out all your pieces. And then I have my craft, this is the craft foam, which I highly recommend. Um, and I'm gonna tell you what you need this for later. And then you need matte foam. Matte foam, like matte as, as in you're going camping, you're sleeping on the mat. This that kind of mat. Um, you need matte foam as well. Um, those are three foams you need, all right? So first things first. As you can see here, I have this picture display out. Um, I hope you can see this picture very well, uh, but I have, I think, what is that? That is, I think it's about five pieces that I have here. Oh, it's actually not five pieces. This is actually three pieces. And I'm gonna show you how to get these three pieces easily, all right? So first you need, you need, to, you need to grab cardboard, you need to grab a cardboard box, and you need to basically tear out a huge square shape. Um, and then you need to draw this. This is the template that I use to get the shape of the chest, like this. And the reason why I, I car, I, the reason why that I carved it out like this, because this part right here, the, the round part right here, um, is for the neck area. So as you're putting on the armor, you know you're not suffocating yourself with this part of the armor, you know, kind of going into your neck like that. So you need to have a curve here 
in order for the armor to kind of just go around your neck without choking you. Um, and then as far as the shape, well, I kind of just looked at a reference photo on how the ends look. Um, as you can see, the ends are, the ends of this, they're very curved, the most ends. So I went with a curved effect on the side here as I was cutting it out. And I left this little piece right here because that's what's gonna wrap around your torso, all right? So, so question is, I, I, like, I know you guys are asking, well, did you crop? How did you get the measurements? Well, easy. I can show you how, how I got the measurements for this. So this is where the ruler comes in to importance, all right? So right, I'm uh, I'm more familiar with inches, not really cent not really uh, uh, centimeters. So I basically took the ruler and placed it where my neck is, starting from my neck all the way down to so my torso. All right. So I took my measurements by kind of measuring how long my torso is. And keep in mind, the right range of armor does not extend all the way down to the bottom of the, bottom of the torso. It actually stops like mid-range of the, of the stomach. It's kind of like wearing a crop top, basically. So you need to make sure as you're measuring yourself, you don't measure your whole like torso. You definitely want to maybe measure down to the, I guess like your first ab, first ab section here, kind of right there in the middle, and that's going to tell you how long your torso is for this arm, all right? And then what I did was I went ahead and measured my width of my torso um, from here to here, and then once I got that, I divided that by two, which would give me half of my torso size, because we're only cutting out half of the torso, not the full torso. So, um, once you get that, cut it out, um, and then, you know, what I did was, I had placed it on me to make sure that it actually fits perfectly. If not, you can make some adjustments, use your scissors, kind of make it smaller, if it's like too big, that's what I did. Um, so, now, this is used as a template to cut out the important pieces that you really need to make this. Alright, so, what I use basically was the EVA foam, this bad boy right here, um, and then I placed my my template of my chest pieces, I'm, I'm sorry, my chest piece, onto the EVA foam, all right? So, I'm just gonna move this side. So, the goal is, as you can see here in the image, the goal is to cut out three pieces. You need one whole full piece, you need one whole full piece here, need two separate pieces, simply because um, the two separate pieces is the, are the pieces that's going to fold around your back, and it's going to allow you to get into the, to the costume. The front piece will be a whole piece. So as you're cutting it out, what I did was I had mirrored one side to the other one to get the full, get the full piece size. And once you get up, there's three pieces cut out, this is what it looks like. All right, and now I bet some of you are asking, well, did you grow, how did you get the, the shorter pieces cut out? This was easy, all right? I'm gonna show you how I got that cut out. Um, basically, you need to take these together, laying flat on the ground. Um, and then you need to take a, you need to place an extra piece of foam, EVA foam on the, on the bottom. And you can kind of draw like this, this weird half circle shape, as if you're basically drawing shoulder shoulder guards. All right. But I actually have a reference picture here that I decided to put up last night, and I should have just cut it out. Um, let's see here. It's gonna be this piece, yeah. So this is the reference piece that I use for the shoulder for the shoulder guards. All right. Um, I use it as a, I use it as a template to cut out the shoulders um, as I was kind of measuring it. And then we you have all five pieces cut out, which I'm gonna show you right here. So you have like a full picture of uh, all five pieces. Yeah, right here. 
As you can see, once you have all five pieces cut out, then that's when I started to like glue everything together. Um, with super glue. I do not recommend to use hot glue on EVA foam. It's definitely not the best um, adhesive material for EVA foam. Super glue works perfect. So I recommend you doing this whole thing together with super glue. Right? So, once I had everything glued together, uh, this is kind of this is kind of what it looked like on me as I was um, trying it on. So that's what it looks like when I have everything glued together from the shoulder pieces, the front piece, and then the two back pieces. And that gave me an idea of how it was going to fit on my body. Um, I did have to make some adjustments on the sides here because it was a little too wide. Um, uh, so I had to splice the sides a little bit to basically um, have it kind of fit it. Now, you don't want this to be super fit. You need, it still needs to be kind of loose. Because, I mean, in cosplay, you know, you kind of move around a lot and, and you need to have, like, airflow and it needs to be functional. So I didn't really try to make it too tight around my torso because um, that would have been a really bad decision. All right. <laughs> um, so once you have all these pieces glued together, the next step is you need to cut out all the little gold strips that you see that, that's on the, um, on the arm with the matte foam. Um, I decided to go with this kind of foam because I feel like it gave it a different texture than the other EVA foam on the costume. Um, this kind of makes it look really cool, cool and stand out. So basically, how they would do to do this, um, you're going to need a whole, you're going to need a full size um, sleeping mat. All right? I'm just showing you only a piece because I'm only showing you guys the example of foam you need. But yes, I do have a whole full roll of it. All right? So, um, so according to the costume reference photo, the, code, the gold strips are about roughly one inch, but not so quite one inch. I'll say like, it's like 0 0.8 inches from one inch. So that's what you need to measure onto your sleeping mat foam here. Um, and then when she get, when she place the measurements onto the, to, onto the sleeping mat, you need to cut out multiple strips because it took a lot of strips for me to cover this whole armor. All right, um, that's why I recommend you to have a full, a full sleeping mat, a full size mat, because you need to cut out long, long strips. Um, you will, um, I did do a lot of splicing and everything, but you need it needs to be really long to kind of cover the whole costume. So once you measure the 0 0.8 inch. Um, size here. You're gonna place that onto your. You're gonna place it roll onto your um, EVA. No, I'm sorry, not EVA foam. Your sleeping mat foam, and you want to measure widthwise 0.8 inches. Um, I did that. I kind of, kind of did that repeated, uh, repeatedly until like the whole thing was measured. And then what? And then next thing I did was I went ahead and just drew lines. Um, from the measurements where and I went and just started cutting every single strip out. Um, it's not really time consuming at all, it's very easy. I use the scissors to cut through this type of ball because it's really easy with these scissors. And like I said, it needs to be super, super long strips. You need a lot of strips, alright? Um, then once you do that, it's now going to be time to actually paint these strips gold. Alright, I use, now I did use gold spray paint. Um, I don't have gold spray paint with me, but I use the gold spray paint as the base. Alright, and then I went over it with, with the actual metallic gold. Alright, now, the kind of gold you need is, it needs to be metallic. Um, metallic gold. So, I went ahead and just used my brush, and 
napkin and all my little strips go alright. And then I also cut out the centerpiece too. I just drew a circle on the sweet mat and cut that out. And I spray painted it gold and painted it gold as well. Then I paint that in the middle. Um, so that and I was then after everything was painted gold, I used super glue and I looked at my reference photo of the costume. And I just kind of place all the gold strips where they need to be. Cause that's pretty easy. Um, and then the next thing is, um, I went ahead and just started priming the full armor. Um, I'm actually jumping ahead right now. I need to rewind. Before I put the gold pieces on, I actually primed the actual chest piece first. All right, I primed it with a black spray paint primer. Okay. Now, I did this for the whole thing, all the way around. And I actually do have an image here where I was basically priming the the armor. Where is it? Let's see where this armor at. Yes. So it should be right about here, I believe. Sorry guys, I have so many photos. Um, I have to search for this. It's going to be... Oh no, I'm kind of jumping ahead here. Uh, let's see. So let's keep going. Uh oh. I'm pulling, pulling the wrong pictures here, guys. Uh, where is this photo? Okay, I'm getting close to it. I have a lot of photos, guys. I'm trying to find... The image of me spray painting my armor piece here. Uh, let's see here. It should be right about here. Yeah, that's it. Here's the image. So, as you can see, I basically primed the uh, I primed the chest piece first um, with black spray paint. And for the shoulder, for the shoulder pieces, I went ahead and spray painted that gold. I spray painted those pieces gold separately. Because it's gonna make sense for when you're taking, when, I, when I'm taking pictures uh, coming from an angle, this needs to look gold, not black. So that's kind of why you see here where I, where I spray painted the shoulder guards gold, and then this here black. All right, so once you have everything primed, and then that's when I went ahead and started painting the actual chest piece black. Um, I recommend to use a primer first, because if you just go straight into painting it, painting EVA foam, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's a, it's kind of harder to get the consistency, you know, all around the areas that you're trying to paint. It's kind of quicker if you just have like a primer on first on EVA foam. Then you go in and just paint everything the color it's supposed to be. It makes it so much easier and it looks nicer because the plastic dip gives a surface like, you know, a very rubberish texture to make, it look, to make it look like it's like leather. So I highly recommend, I highly recommend you to prime your chest piece first before you paint it, all right? So it's gonna give it a little bit more, real, a little bit more realism look to it, all right? So once I, once I had everything painted, now we can fast forward to what I was saying earlier about the gold strips. Once you have them painted, then is when you want to go ahead and glue them on. You want to go ahead and glue all the gold strips on after you have painted the chest piece, piece black, all, the, all around the costume, like it is um, the Bright Ranger. All right? So once you do all that, and then you know you also, again, I cut out a circle piece for the center piece here from the sleeping mat and I play and I glued it on to here all right um now next is the next thing that I work on is the symbol here as you can see the symbol and then I also work on this right here on the top of the of the uh, arm now if you look at the white ranger costume you notice on the shoulder pads there's like these ripples here, all right? And I kinda, it was kinda easy for me to get that effect. 
Um, basically, I just cut out. I basically just cut out um, long rectangle pieces on the craft foam sheets, and I think I do have a reference photo as well uh, of me cutting out pieces. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I definitely have a photo or two. Yeah, here it is. Okay. As you can see, this is me cutting all my pieces out and I'm spray painting them gold. Alright? Then you also want to then paint it gold. Because um, I use the gold spray paint as just a primer. Then I actually will paint over it gold again. So, therefore, you know, there won't be any like undertone colors from the EVA foam, you know? Um, so, the measurements for this, for this piece here, is basically, it's about, they're about 1.7 inches wide. That's kind of how long each strip is. Um, basically what I did was, I just basically, I basically just cut out long strips of that same inch. And then I basically just started kind of sculpting the pieces onto the shoulder um, plate here and kind of cutting along to kind of make it look cohesive with the shape of the, of the uh, shoulder pieces. And that's how I kind of got that. Um, I did have to spray paint this first and then paint over it again. Um, Cause I wanted a certain, I wanted a certain like, iridescent lighting effect on it. So I used two different golds. So when it reflects in the light, you can see different shades of gold. And I think that gives it the realism, the realism as well. Now, for the centerpiece here, right here, I also use EVA foam as well. This is super easy to draw. This is my reference little, little um, template here. I just went on Google and looked up, looked up the White Ranger symbol. Um, it's super easy. Um, I think I can pull up an image of the of the symbol here, and I can just kind of you know walk you guys through how I was able to kind of get this design here. It's super easy. Uh, let me see here. This is White Ranger White Ranger icon symbol. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Yeah, here it is. So, this is the image that I went off of right here. Um, I basically took a, a plain white piece of paper and I actually did use my ruler because these edges had to be perfect. Um, so, I cannot make any, any error making the actual icon piece that goes in the center of the costume. So I had to actually use my ruler to kind of make the edges and everything sharp. And then I went, I went ahead and just cut it out, and I used this as a template to actually make the piece. And I used EVA foam here, and I cut, and I used my um, mark here to actually trace the shape. And I used my scissors to cut the piece out, all right? And then I basically just placed it on here, like that. Um, I did the same thing for the other two pieces here. I just kind of just drew it on a piece of paper. I traced it on foam and cut it out as well. Now, I also had to spray paint this first before I placed it onto the, to the chest piece here. I spray painted it gold, um, and then I started painting it gold. Uh, so that's how I got this made, all right? And so, for the back here, uh, this is where the two separate chest pieces came into play because you need to find a way to get into the costume. So, and I also used Velcro to kind of tighten it up here. As you can see, it's Velcro. And once I'm in the costume, I basically tighten up the Velcro so it can like stay on me. And so, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's kind of how I made this. Um, it was a lot of work. I'm very, very proud of this. Um, a whole lot of time, hard work into this. Um, you know, just actually getting into the costume that I made as a Red Ranger um, for the first time was incredible. 
Um, you know, doing the shoot, doing the photo shoot and everything was spectacular. Um, I actually show you guys an image of me and my cosplay. So I do have a couple of images here. Where is my white? Oh, okay, here it is. Yeah. Here are some photos of me and my costume. Um, yeah. So that's me, my costume. Um, that's me with the same, with the same armor that I've made. Um, because guess what? I wasn't gonna pay a thousand dollars for a replica. Are you kidding? No way. I wasn't gonna pay a, I wasn't gonna pay a thousand dollars for a replica. I'd rather just make it myself. Um, use my skills and talents, and it's basically just almost free. You know, if you go online, you seeing a lot of uh, Power Rangers cosplay costumes and replicas, you know, well over thousand dollars, a couple thousand dollars. And I just and I just think that that's not reasonable. Um, that that's really insane for a costume that you may not wear, but on like two times a year at conventions. Um, so I decided that to be crafty and use my talent, my cosplay talents, and make this, you know, from scratch. So I, I hope that you know I'm able that I was able to help you today, help you help you guys today on how to make this for yourself. If you don't want to spend a thousand dollars or so on Power Ranger, um, you know, costume. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, DJ Croft, you can follow me on all my social medias. Click the link below because I actually did make a fan trailer, me as the White Ranger. That's going to be in the link as well, so check that out. Um, it's basically me morphing, morphing into the White Power Ranger costume. Um, definitely check that out in the link below. And follow me on, on all my social medias at DJ Croft. Super easy. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and Twitch. So, uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. So you see me back again with more videos, all right?